Hi everyone, great to be with you again. I want to speak about the subject of expectation. Years ago, somebody once said to me, Peter, if you don't expect anything, you will never be disappointed. And it's so true. We can expect somebody to do something for us, and if they don't do it, we are disappointed. Or we can expect something to happen, and when it doesn't happen, we are disappointed. Psalm 62 verse 5 says, My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. And this word expectation in the Hebrew literally speaks of a cord. In other words, we are attached to God. My expectation is from the Lord. I'm not going to allow myself to be bound to anyone, to anything, to any situation, good or bad. My, my expectation is in the Lord. My rest, my patience, my peace is in Him. This cord is holding me fast. So in other words, as I go through life, as you go through life, and we have all different situations at home, family, church, in the world where we work, we can have an expectation that is purely natural, purely carnal. And that's when we are disappointed. Things don't work out. People say things, do things we didn't expect them to do. And that's where hurt, disappointment, sometimes even unforgiveness come into our heart. So in order to avoid that, we need to protect ourselves to walk wisely each and every day. How? By having this cord of expectation with the Lord. My trust is in Him. It's interesting, he says, my soul, my mind, my heart, my being waits silently for God. You remember the three Hebrew boys being thrown into the fiery furnace in the book of Daniel. What did they say? They said to the king, even if you make the fire hotter, even if we do not survive this, our faith is still in God. They were not expecting God to deliver them. They were expecting God to take care of them in the situation, to bring them through in the way God had planned and purposed. And it's wonderful that in the fiery furnace, that's where they found Jesus. That's where they found the presence and the power and the grace of God. When we have that heart, which is, has an expectation of the Lord. So what does that mean to me? What does it mean to you? I believe it brings an attitude that in everything we can't lose. We can't fail. We can't miss out because in everything our expectation is of God. Lord, what do you have for me? What are you preparing for me? I'm not looking at the man or the circumstance or the situation. I'm looking to you. Have a great day.